What's up guys, welcome back to the channel All Wings Everything. Yes, you are in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli and we have another easy and delicious recipe. And today we're pulling out the crock pot, the slow cooker or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you how to make beef and beans stew or you can call it a soup, whatever you want to call it. All I know is this thing is delicious guys. And depending on what part of the country you say soup or you say stew, but I'm telling you it's delicious. You're gonna love it. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients. So let's start roll call. Right here we have our ground beef. We have some chili powder, cumin. We're gonna use some bacon. Right here we have diced tomatoes with green chilies, one onion, some garlic cloves, and right here we have some pinto beans. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are the ingredients all measured out. Let me tell you what we have. So right here I have about a pound and a half, a little bit over a pound and a half of ground beef. Now you can use a pound of ground beef, that's fine. I'm just putting a little bit extra in here because I had that extra in there, so I didn't just want to keep it in there. So nothing wrong with adding some additional meat to it. And right here we have our uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is two 10 ounce cans, so 20 ounces total. Right here I have one onion, like a medium onion chopped. I have one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin. And right here I have three fourths pounds of bacon. I cooked it and crumbled it or chopped it. Uh, for this recipe now if you don't want to put the bacon in that's fine if you can put, even put used turkey bacon if you want to right here i have six garlic cloves minced and right here i have a pound of pinto beans now i allow these pinto beans to soak overnight in this water that way it's you know they cook faster so it's better if you soak them at least give them about you know six to eight hours to soak and they cook much faster once they start they soak like that so these are the ingredients guys let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing we're going to do is going to start cooking our beef so going to turn our cooktop on we're going to get this up to temperature and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little of the bacon oil that i cooked um the bacon in Just add a little of that oil in there all right so i'm going to start adding our beef and guys right now you can take the opportunity to add just a little salt you don't want to over salt it you can do that you know toward the end of the process but just to give you a little flavor with your meat and we're going to cook this to it brown but we're gonna also come behind it with our onions. Now I'm gonna add a little pepper to here. Just a little, maybe like a half a teaspoon pepper. Of course that is optional guys, if you don't wanna use pepper, but I love adding pepper to my, to my foods. All right, so now that we've browned our meat, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn this cooktop off and we're going to drain the liquid from our ground beef and then we'll be right back. All right, so I've drained our beef. So now we're here at the crock pot. So what we're gonna do first is add our beans to our crock pot. Make sure you drain them. And we're gonna come behind it with our beef. And next with our bacon. Man, the bacon is what brings this, this bad baby to life right here, I'm telling you. If you're a bacon eater, man, don't leave out the bacon. But of course, if you don't eat bacon, then I'm not trying to force anything on you. And we're gonna come behind this with eight cups of water. So that's five cups. And here is three more cups. And we're just gonna kind of get out a mix like that. Kind of get all that incorporated. And now we're gonna come behind that with the remaining of our ingredients, like our garlic which guys, <laughs> man, this adds some flavor too. You're gonna love it. And my favorite, the most underrated seasoning, that cumin. Cumin is very underrated, guys. But it adds so much life to a dish. And our chili powder, followed by our diced tomatoes and chili. Now you don't wanna drain these. So make sure you just get them straight out the uh, can. And now what we're gonna do, Mix this up like that. All right, so we're gonna cover this up. Set it to low. And we're gonna cook this 
for eight to 10 hours on low. Now I'm gonna leave mine in here for uh, about eight and a half hours, but around eight hours I'm gonna check it and we should be good to go about eight hours, just depending on your crock pot. But if you gotta leave it in there for 10, you can leave it in there for 10 if you're off to work or something like that. All right, see you in about eight hours. All right, so I'm about four hours in. Take a look at it. We're gonna give it a quick stir. You wanna at least try to stir it at least midway through or a few times uh, throughout your cooking process. And as you can see, it's looking good. So we're gonna cover it back up and we're gonna allow it to continue to cook. All right, so we are eight hours in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn our crock pot off. I am good with the eight hours, guys. And one way you wanna check it, you can check, you can grab one of your beans and you can check the texture of it, give it a quick mix first. Make sure you got everything all combined and give it a quick check and you should be good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put this in a bowl and we're gonna go ahead and head over to quality control. And there you have it guys, beef and beans stew or soup. And as I said before, whatever you want to call it, but call it delicious. Guys, take a look at this. I'm telling you, this is so delicious. And for you guys that's in the colder parts of the country, you definitely want to make this right here to keep you guys warm. And for those who are not and just always on the go, you can throw this in the crock pot. And man, I'm telling you, it's done when you get home. So I left the measurements and ingredients. They're all in the video description below, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get into quality control. So let's go. All right, guys. So you are here for quality control. I don't know what happened to my audio, but I have to do this voiceover. But take a look at this beef and bean soup or stew. Man, it looks delicious, guys. So I'm going to take a bite. I'm going to let you guys know what it tastes like. If you can read lips, go ahead and read them lips. But definitely look at my face because I'm telling you, you're going to see how much I really love this recipe. See what I'm telling you? Look at that. That smile on that face. Guys, I'm telling you, it's so simple. It's so easy. But the flavors combine well together. And I mean, how could you go wrong with beef and beans? And then you add a little bacon in it, guys. Oh, my goodness. And if you want to throw this over a bed of rice, go ahead, feel free to do so. And it makes it a more hearty meal. But even without the rice, guys, you're on points. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here since I'm doing a voiceover and you're not really hearing the original audio. So until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything. And remember, I ain't no chef. I just cook a lot and I am out. Peace.